Well, hello there, everybody, and welcome to today's Morbid Monday video. And we're going to be doing something creepy today that is personal in my life. And we're going to be talking about my creepy dolls. And yes, I own those scary Victorian dolls. If you guys want to see my creepy doll collection, I guess, then please make sure to keep on watching. Also, please make sure to like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't yet to join the Briar Patch Fam Bam. We have fun here all the time. Let's go ahead and get started. When I was little, my grandmother used to give me a doll for my birthday and she gave me a doll twice for my birthday every year, I guess two years in a row. And I have one doll from Alaska. So I'm gonna show you the Alaska doll first cause she's not as creepy. And this is my Alaska doll right here. She is super fuzzy. We got her, or my grandfather actually got, got her for me when we went on an Alaskan cruise when I was 14 and she has a little passport Alaska right there. She is actually a Memeluk and her date of birth is July 5th, 2006 and she is from Juneau, Alaska and she is a Memeluk, special porcelain doll for special people and I am a very special person. This is her little face, you can barely see her face. She's really, really cute though. And she doesn't look as like terrifying as my other doll. These actually have stayed all in my box, my moving box, because I don't think Rich wants them out. <laughs> Cause I think he thinks they're gonna scare people, so. This is the first one. So my second one, I'll show you my very first doll that I destroyed. I got her when I was like seven and she comes with a hat. And I remember I used to like mess with this hat a lot. I used to put it in the bathtub and like soak it because I thought it looked really pretty like slumped on her head. I don't know, it was weird. But this is her. This is my first <laughs> Victorian doll. I got her when I was seven, like I mentioned seven or, seven or eight or maybe even 10, I don't remember. But this is what she looks like. I don't know and it actually has my um, graduation pin on here when I graduated from my elementary school. So I'm pretty sure I got her like right before I graduated elementary school, so maybe like nine. And this is her, she is really pretty. I don't have names for these dolls, but they are Christmassy dolls. Is red hair and really pretty like green eyes like blue green eyes that like stare into your soul i never thought of these as creepy and everyone thinks they're like terrifying like i remember when i used to keep them in my closet in my old um when i used to live with my parents and i always had my closet door open so they would like stare down at you like this and like i remember when leslie would be in my room she's like oh my god rosa they're like staring at us and i was like it's cool though because it's not it's not like they're gonna do anything Ugh. all right so next is one that i used to pretend was this one's mother and this one I was like I am not messing with her hair no way no how and she is beautiful you guys but again you guys will probably think she's creepy but this is her isn't she pretty as F like she is so pretty give you a close-up of her eyes do they scare you but as you can see, she has the really pretty ringlets because I told I got this one when I was a lot older. Like, no, I got this one a year after, so I realized, well, I got in trouble for brushing out her hair, so I didn't brush this girl's hair out. But she has a beautiful hat, like gorgeous, just burgundy and gold, which is like one of my favorites. This is actually going to be somewhat my wedding colors. Yeah, she has a little uh, coin purse attached to her, which actually looks like a little shell, which is really pretty. And this is her embroidery, like so gorgeous, you guys. Like look at that embroidery, so pretty. And then her whole dress is velvet material, which is the same as my others, but this one's a lot of softer of a velvet. Just cause I didn't mess with this doll as much. Like I messed a lot with my other doll, but I never messed with this one. Um, and yes, these are not in the boxes because I wasn't the type to be like collector of dolls. I just wanted her to live a free life. So this is kind of my video for today for the creepy, uh, creepy video. I thought maybe you guys would like to see these dolls because they are a little creepy and um, a lot of people are afraid of dolls and I actually find them quite fascinating. Like if you guys have ever listened to Nox Arcana's Carnival of Souls, they have a living doll house soundtrack and it's literally how I feel like my dolls would sound. So those were all of my dolls. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to give it a, a huge thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't joined the Briar Patch Fam Bam where we have fun here all the time. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye.